coffee. Number four this morning. Yeah, four coffees already. I need them, okay? I work night time, so it's not just YouTube. I still work and I presume many of you do the same. Trying to manage everything in the same time. That's life. Anyway, today it's Friday and what this means? It's a five minutes Friday. Yes, and in these five minutes I'm gonna try to fit what I wanted to say, but it's gonna be fairly simple. Lightroom, Adobe just released a new Lightroom update and there is a four or five new things, but I'm gonna concentrate only on two. The first one is the new enhance and resizing option of your images and also the new premium presets. So Lightroom decided to add some premium presets, which is fantastic. I think it's around 70 and they say they're gonna keep adding more premium presets, which is cool. You may using your own presets, you may buy from somewhere, but if you're new to Lightroom or you're just starting or who knows, you may be using it for a long time. Some of these presets may do the job just fine to get you started with whatever you do and then obviously enhance even more. But what I'm more interested in is in the enhance and resizing image to see how good it is because the resizing is basically double your image which is good for large prints without losing quality. That's what they say. Let's throw five minutes on the clock and see if I can fit this, okay? Let's go to Lightroom. As you can see guys, this is my image here. I choose this image because I'm quite impressed to be honest with this image quality. Uh, taken from Canon RP and uh, RF 50mm 1.8 lens, which is... Mm -hmm. Who say Canon RP couldn't take good images or the new 50, nifty 50 RF lens? Anyway, that's not the point. So, when you go to your image, very simple. You go to develop mode, obviously, because you want to do all this stuff. And first of all, just a quick one to show you here on the top left, you're going to see the presets. And this is the top six, how many there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the top five new kind of a premium preset. So if you open, you can obviously see difference what's happening. Let me zoom out. See it's changing, uh, it's doing different stuff. So this is a deep skin, medium skin, light skin. You have cinematic, which depends of the type of the image you taking. You have futuristic, vintage, travel. So I think it's quite good. We're not gonna go there, but this is the new presets guys. So one thing you should check. We are more interested today in the 5 minutes Friday and this new future here. So we go right click on the top and you can see here enhance or you can go on the top menu and open enhance. And you have two options. I'm just going to move to the eye of my model so we can have a more clear picture. Let me just take off the super resolution. So this is the eye, okay. That's the photo. If you want to enhance, you need to obviously use raw files. And uh, for a full information, you can go to Adobe website and you can see the instantly enhanced image quality. They introduced a new Tether Live view for Nikon, which I don't use Nikon, native support for Apple Silicon devices new camera and lenses and other enhancement, which is here is the older preset. So if you want to read more about, make sure you head to the Adobe website and read all about the new updates. But here we're looking for enhancing and super resolution. That's what it's interesting, the super resolution. I want to see how good it is and if it's going to preserve most of the details or it's going to mess up with the image but it's a good thing, okay? Let's check. So it says double image resolution ideal for large displays or print. So let's click on this. In this small preview, obviously it's not gonna see the justice. So I'm just gonna go and enhance. Now there's a small tick here, create stack. What this mean? So if you click that, it means uh, it's gonna stack the images, but they're gonna be saved as a separate files, okay? So let me just explain if you get a little bit confused here. So when you click this create stack, press enhance and I'm just going to look down at the moment. This is my file. We wait around 
25 seconds. So it says around 25 seconds estimate time. And it's keep doing the job. So let's see how long it's gonna take. On the top uh, here you can see creating enhanced DNG file. So it's rolling. It's nearly there. It doesn't do bad. I think it's probably around 25 seconds. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Look at that. So this is the enhanced image. But if you look at down here, they're both like a stacked image. You see photos is part of the stack. So obviously you won't see it as a separate image, but if you want to see it as a separate image, all you need to do is just click on this stack here and it's going to separate them. So now we have the original and we have the super resolution. Uh, as you can see, I think it's done pretty good job. Now, I don't know if it's too sharp or maybe it's introduced some sharpness. But as you can see here on my sharpening, I think it's exactly the same like with the original. Yeah, but this is on 300%. Let me just go. Yeah, 100% zoom. And this is 100% zoom. So I think I'm pretty impressed with that. And uh, yeah, very good. Now the difference what it is. Let's go and open show in your folder. And just want to find this image where it is. There you go. So you see how is the file? It says my image and on the end it's at enhanced. And this is the original. So look at that. First of all, let's go that. Enhance what it's doing. It's going to introduce more details, more lighting to the images. It's going to make it look better. You can see just from it changing from the original to enhance, it's already have difference in the levels, in the saturation, in the lighting, in the shadows, in everything. Okay, first of all. Second, the original image is 21 megabytes. Okay, and when I go to enhance one, it's 274 megabytes. So, a huge file size, but if you're after doing a big printing, it's fantastic because it's basically double the resolution of your image and it's giving you the ability to do a huge print without losing any of the quality. And I'm pretty impressed with that. I've not tried yet to print, which I'm gonna do, but I just wanted to share with you this quick update. And just going back to Lightroom, of course, uh, just let me go to the original. Make sure you check these presets again, okay? There's a different things. I don't know what can work for you. For example, if I go really quick here to maybe, let's see, if we go here with El May, some of the images we did, do we have some close up something? Nope. Uh, okay. So if I go to develop here, the image it's not even touched yet, okay? I've not touched nothing, as you can see, it's straight away of the camera, but I just want to see what it's going to do. And I'm pretty kind of impressed what it's the level of the presets, to be honest with you guys. But guys, uh, that's it. Five minutes, we're done. I'm not going to go because we're going totally to different video. However, here is the time to mention all these images which you've seen. They are part of, of videos which coming because I did behind the scenes recording with both models. So I'm going to put few videos to show you how I took the shot, the lighting setup and how I edit my images. Just a quick to give you an idea of the images. I challenged myself and I wanted to do that just to show you that it's possible. There all of the images, it's only two light setup and I use my Canon RP and the RF 50 mil. So basically I used, yeah, that's my setup. So for the moment, I decide to just stick to the 50 mil RF lens and see how good portraits or fashion I can take just with that lens and a two light setup. And so far, I got some good stuff and I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to make videos with a little bit of behind the scene, the setup with the model, and then we're going to jump to how to edit and all this kind of stuff. But this is it for five minutes Friday. I hope you like these new releases from Lightroom. I'm quite impressed, especially of the enlarging the photo because that's good for a big printing, okay? 
The new presets is just time to start trying and see if I can actually use some of them and maybe just tweak them to my liking. But for now, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you next week with another video. Until then, stay safe and don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share. Everything counts, guys, all right? Take care and I love you. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for supporting the channel and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.